<clears throat> Hello. How is everyone doing? Um, I'm going live on my computer over here at my studio. <clears throat> okay. It's a little different. I guess I just, I have to look up. Because if I look down, it looks, if I look straight into the computer, it makes it look like I'm looking down. So I guess I got to look up at the camera. <clears throat> But I got on for a few minutes to talk about Straight Drop's condition, you know, his, his how he's doing in jail. I got word from someone uh, who actually um, who works there. I looking at him in court the other day. He um, looked like he had, uh, you know, I was hearing a lot of people on social media saying that they felt like he had been beat up. Okay. Um. Or maybe he was stressed, but it looked like he had a little knot right here. But I do know when you, it, that can come, your eyes swell up. It comes from crying, comes from not getting any rest. It comes from uh, stressing. Well, um, I got word that he do seem to be stressing in jail, but he is segregated from um, all of the other inmates. So he's not around any of the inmates. He's actually off by himself in another area of the jail. And that's what they do with high profile um, inmates. Also, um, whenever he leaves, uh, movement stops in the jail. Like when he comes out, and I think he's in, on 23 and one, and they do that for protection. Um, whenever he comes out, um, all movement stops, which means, and they lock down um, so that they can, you know, they do that to make sure that inmates um, like that are kept um, safe. But I, I had the opportunity to speak with someone else, someone who is, you know, who has very, very deep insight on the case. And as I said before, one of my thoughts was, that I felt like that young Dolph was killed because of jealousy. Um, in talking to my friend last night, um, he said, you know, what's so sad about this Tamara? They killed that boy for nothing. You know, um, we kind of got into, you know, what people were saying about um, black youngsters, um, supposedly, allegedly, it was retaliation for black youngsters brother that is a lie. And I think I told you all that because I know people in his family and they never believe that. They still don't believe that to this day, that Dolph had anything to do with Youngster's brother's murder. So just in talking to my friend last night, like I said, that actually works for the police department. It's a sad thing that this young man was killed for nothing. And as he was saying, that um and i'm talking about young Dolph, as he was saying you know he could see the straight drop is starting to swell you know and that comes from worry having to with having to hold everything in he said and it's looking like even though it's it seems to be um stressing him um he probably won't tell because he wants to um have this persona you know how they they do, you know, that's the persona that they sold on TV with the Italians. And that's the persona that they, that's what they, the, how the older men manipulate the younger men. Are oh, you a G if you don't tell now? They get you to do their dirty work. And then you go in, away for, for the rest of your life in a jail cell, away from your family, away from your children, um, all to have the title of a G. And they forget about you. They're out living their life. They out shining. They out flodging and faking. And then they go and find another weak young man to do their dirty work. We was kind of having a conversation about that last night. He said, it's a darn shame that he went and messed his life up like that. He said he absolutely was involved. But the sad thing about it is they was sent out. They was paid, you know. And this particular friend, um, 
you know, that I was talking to had a lot of respect and know one of the people because I remember years ago, because we're always extremely proud of people that do great things within Memphis. We are. I know I am. And I remember he was, you know, bragging about because he had gone to school with one of the people that is believed to have sent him out. And he was just bragging about it. And just talking to him last night was kind of sad because he was like, God, 